I know we've only been seeing each other for a few months. I think I'm falling in love with you. And I feel like I could fall in love with you. But I don't dare let myself. Preston has been gone for over a year. But he was my husband. And your best friend. Camera one, hold on Nicole. And keep holding. I still love him. And we're out. <clears throat> All right, got some notes. Moving on. Yeah. Ooh, almost got a Oh, yeah. OK. Um, is that the same palm we used in Nicole's living room? Yeah. Well, I told the guys to go put some lights around in there just for this scene. OK. So in other words, don't throw anything out. <laughs> exactly. I have just been summoned to another network meeting. It's not even 10 a.m. That can be good news. Well, we'll find out. You're coming with me. I am. Yes. If you intend to take over the show one day. Yeah. Uh, sure. OK, Mick, listen, run the next scene without me. OK. Copy that, boss. Thank you. OK, everybody. I'd like to be recording in less than five minutes. I don't want to cancel a show that's been on the air for 40 years, but unfortunately. Any indication what the meeting's about? I suspect it's Gregory wanting to make more budget cuts. Budget cuts? If we cut any more, the actors are going to have to start wearing their own clothes. Oh, oh have you guys seen this? Photos of our new grandbaby. Oh, <laughs> she's so adorable. She really is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're late for a meeting, and oh. you guys, you should be on the set. They're ready to shoot. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Alice. OK, we need to go to the network executive office. Copy that. Thank you. We've already cut your budget, but with ratings dropping, so does ad revenue. We're still losing money. Last week, put us at an all-time low. We don't want to cancel a show that's been on the air for 40 years, but unfortunately, it's becoming a distinct possibility. Can't you give us just a little bit more time? We have that great storyline coming with Ted and his estranged sister who wants to kill him. I like the family drama. I, I really do, but I don't think it's going to be enough. This is what we think the show needs. We need to bring Darren Mitchell back as Detective Preston Stillwater. He left the show over a year ago. And he still gets more fan mail than anyone else. I'm sure you recall that we killed him off. Remember the lake and the children he saved? Alice. You of all people should know that no one really dies on a soap opera. I mean, I don't care if you have to bring... We'll do whatever it takes. Right, Maggie? Him back as his long lost twin brother. Just get him back. Look, he went to New York. He wanted to do a Broadway play. You really think he's going to be interested in this? I don't think he would be. Uh, what was that? I don't think he would come back. And uh, who, who are you again? Maggie Coleman, the head writer for the last four years. And hopefully, my replacement. When I retire? Ugh. Right. Well, I heard that Darren's back in Los Angeles licking his wounds after his play flopped. So there is a good chance that we could get him back. And Alice, since you gave him his first break, that should give you some leverage. We'll do whatever it takes. Right, Maggie? Yes. Just a moment, but forever is a long, long time. I didn't want to tell you this, but my mother has been seeing your father. I still can't believe his mother is the one who ruined everything for them. So, what exactly did you mean when you said we'd do whatever it takes? Oh, whatever it takes to save the show. If we do get Darren back, you're going to have to figure out a way to work with him again. I just think... Honey, I, I know you're not happy about this, but I actually think Gregory is right. Bringing Darren back, it may be the only hope for us. Well, you know, maybe we could try taking the show in a different direction. I have some ideas. Well, since the network hasn't complained about storylines, I think we should leave that alone until they do. That's another lesson, by the way, you have to learn. Pick your battles. Well, you know, if we have to resurrect Preston's character, we don't necessarily have to use Darren, right? We could recast another actor. You know what? 
I just heard that Jeff Travis isn't happy on Tomorrow Always Comes. I heard they weren't happy with him, and that he was a lot of trouble. Now look, I understand this is awkward for you. If we do get Darren back, you're gonna have to figure out a way to work with him again. I just think it's not gonna be easy for either of us. I don't know what happened with the two of you. I don't even know why you broke up. But if this has something to do with the show, you need no, to tell me No, no, that. it's not, it's not. It's not that, it's... Oh, thank you. It's lovely, yes. thank you. Look, Darren asked me what I thought about his play and I didn't wanna hurt his feelings, but... And he talked to somebody on the crew, and he found out what I said, and then he thought I wasn't being honest with him, and the whole thing just spiraled out of control from there. We still have to try and get him back. Actually, you do. What? Me? No. Listen to me. You want to step into my shoes, don't you? Yes, of course. Why, oh, it's always so good to see you. More than ever. Sometimes you have to grit your teeth, and you have to do what has to be done. For the good of the show. For the good of the show. Right. Great. That's great. Great. A surprise. Not a bad one, I hope. At least Wiley was happy to see me. You both look good. Yeah, we're fine. Don't think you came all this way just to see how we're doing. No, no, I didn't. Uh, not that I don't care. I do. I. <laughs> well, established that I am fine, and you also seem fine. So, what's this? Is it all? Cardinal Hall and soap operas. Nothing is ever written in stone. Well, consider this the one about. I have an offer for you. Paul oh, Zach. He's still my agent. It's a little impersonal, don't you think? Oh, he still handles all the offers, personal or otherwise. Well, we want you to come back to the show. <laughs> and reprise your role as Detective Preston Stillwater. You're serious? Yeah. Didn't you kill him off, or is there something else you're not telling me again? Well, it doesn't have to be Preston. If you don't want it to be, I could write you a new character. No, no, I like playing Preston, but the answer's still no. Well, the network is prepared to give you a raise and offer you a long-term contract and give you a week off every other month. A generous offer, but I'll pass. In the new dressing room. Maggie, Maggie, you're not listening. My answer's no. Oh, no, I heard you. But, you know, there's a cardinal rule in soap operas. Nothing is ever written in stone. Well, I consider this the one exception to that rule. I knew this wasn't going to be easy. What do you mean, begging me to come back to the show? I wouldn't exactly call it begging, but since your play closed... And this is my play bombed? I didn't say that. Like you didn't say anything when I asked if I should do it in the first place? Look, Darren, you had your heart set on going to Broadway, no matter what anyone said. Maggie, you're a writer. You read the script. You knew it was going to be a disaster. Well, you wouldn't have listened to me if I said anything. Well, you could have said something. Okay, fine. Well, I'm saying something now. Just come back to our show. Considering other options. What if we brought lunch in for you every single day from that little French cafe that you love so much? The one you and I used to go to? Yes, yes, Cafe Sur la Rue. I gotta be honest, I never liked it as much as you did. Uh, okay, so we didn't win this time. You know, I suppose the way the ratings are going, it wasn't the most attractive. <laughs> what if we gave you script approval? That would be first. So, do we have a deal? No. But that was a nice try. <sighs> hey. Have a tomato. Got a good crop this year. You know, you're a better actor than you are a farmer, Darren. The whole thing was so humiliating. Hey, you survived. Oh, I survived, but I still failed. Okay, so we didn't win this time. 
you know, I suppose the way the ratings are going, it wasn't the most attractive offer for Darren. I was hoping maybe the show would last, I don't know, forever? But certainly, 40 more years for you, honey. <laughs> I'm at the end of my career, we know that. But you, oh, you are just hitting your stride. It's not about me, though. Just think about all the jobs that'll be lost and all the people we won't see every day. I mean, you know, we're practically family. It's, <sighs> I just feel so guilty. You know that producers never take no for an answer, right? <laughs> for the good of the show. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now maybe, in case you forgot, is acting. Maybe in a few months. You can tell me why you haven't read that script. I know it's a small part, but it's a good one. Just need some more time. To read? You need to get back to work. I am working. On what, your vegetable garden? Well, not just that. Experimenting with a few uh, different varietals, have my soil tested with the ocean air. It's perfect for growing Chardonnay grapes, which are a fruit, by the way. Here I thought I was representing an actor, and lo and behold, you're a vintner. Look, Darren, the play was bad, not you. This was one small setback. It happens, but it's time to stop being a gentleman farmer and get back to your real work, which, in case you forgot, is acting. Maybe in a few months. Darren, you don't have months. You have to stay relevant. You know that. You stay way too long, people forget you. They haven't forgot me yet. Maggie came by the other day begging me to come back to the show. It's the perfect solution. I want to rush back into it cold turkey. Think about it. That show is your comfort zone. You're a star there. Look, if you want my advice, which you do, you give it a few weeks, you see how it feels. <sighs> I don't know. In a while. That's exactly why it makes sense. Look, what I'm saying to you is that if you want to continue acting, you're going to need to do something. You do want to keep acting, yes? Yeah, I do. Perfect. What to feel guilty about? Alice, she gave you a big break, Darren. Not you start with this, you see how you feel, okay? Yeah. Like my tomatoes that much, do you? I'm not here to talk about vegetables. Tomatoes are fruit. Okay, I want to talk about something serious, though. I take tomatoes very seriously. Are we really going to stand here and debate semantics? Come on. Look, I know you said no the other day, and I didn't want to resort to a guilt trip, but I'm going to have to. Uh, what exactly is it I'm supposed to feel guilty about? Alice. She gave you a big break, Darren. Not to mention the fact that she's devoted 40 years of her life to the show. But yeah, well, you really know how to hit a guy. Next thing you'll say is uh, the ratings are dipping because of me. That would be giving you too much credit. Though I will admit they've dipped a little bit. A little? Why, well, they've been dipping ever since. Maggie, I'm not blind. I see what the fans say on social media. So, why not make your fans happy? Not that I'd love more. I'm just not sure it would make me happy. Well, you didn't seem unhappy when you were on the show. Forget about me and Alice just for a second. Think about the rest of the devoted family, huh? Our beloved crew members. What's gonna happen to them, Darren, if you... Yes! <laughs> We're gonna give you script approval. We'll come back to the show and the network pulls the plug. Hmm? What about the actors? They'll be left to just scatter in the wind. It's a little dramatic, don't you think? Come on, but it's working. Come on, Darren, what's it gonna take to get you back on the show? I don't know if you remember when I left, I said I was never coming back. Yeah, I remember. And you called me a method actor with no method. <laughs> Darren, that's because you broke up with me, all right? My feelings were hurt. You're a great actor. That's why we want you back on the show. And Zach put you up to this? No, but I'm going to call him next if this doesn't work. <laughs> Did I mention that everything I offered is still on the table? Everything? Yes. <laughs> We're going to give you script approval. Well, it is a tempting offer. Oh, come on, 
Darren, don't <laughs> torment me like this. Yeah, I don't have to, but I'm kind of enjoying it. Oh, okay. <laughs> It gives me some time to convince him to stay. Oh, honey, if you can pull that off, you are well on your way to being a producer. It's still a pretty big S. No, 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 Maggie, you have written yourself out of much tougher situations. Well, daytime drama is easy. It's real life. It's hard. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me see what you put together. And if it works, let's print the first hundred copies. Much nicer parking spot. It's right in front of my dressing room, so that's a good sign. A very good sign because I didn't even have to negotiate that. How you feeling? A little nervous. A little nervous is good. It just shows me you care. Anything I can do to help, you name it. Yeah, thanks, Zach. I think I got it covered. Yeah, you do. Just remember, you're a rock star there. I'll let you know how it goes. Welcome back, Mr. Mitchell. Alice sent me to come get you to set and bring you right away. Thanks. How was your drive-in? It was good. Oh, you too. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Good. How are you? Oh, so good. So we are here. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, Darren. Thank you. <laughs> I had no idea. Darren, maybe this is a little bit more than what you expected, but we just want to let you know how happy we are to have you back as part of the family. Thanks, Gregory. <laughs> thank you, Gregory. Thank you, everybody. I'm, I'm very happy to be back. I'm very excited to get to work with you all again, so thank you very much. <laughs> We are too. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Good job. Although I don't love some of the concessions that we had to make, I hear he's back thanks to you. Oh. <laughs> and Alice has assured me that you're going to get him to extend his contract. That's the plan. Well, I hope your plan works, because if it doesn't... We'll all be looking for jobs. And if by some chance you are successful, I won't forget your name again. <laughs> Well, I meant to call you guys when I got back. How you been? Well, you know, a year older, but we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> and like the Gerards, we're uh, still together. Mm. Although my character is in the hospital. What happened? Remember Ted's sister, who turned out not to be his sister? <gasps> yeah, 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 the one said... Oh, Darren, Walter and I are celebrating our 40th wedding anniversary, and Maggie and Alice are... She got switched to birth. Well, she was thrown out of the family and disinherited, so she sent her son to kill Ted. Only it backfired, and now they're both sitting in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot to catch up on. Oh, you yeah. didn't watch us at all while you were gone. Well, I, at first, I, I needed to focus on the play, but uh, I did want to see my memorial service, so I did catch a few episodes. You know, of all the years I've been on the show, your character had the nicest send-off. That's right. All right, everybody, back to work, please. Thank you. All right, and you have a photo shoot in an hour, and they're waiting for you in makeup. Marty. Okay. For the rest of us, we have 180 pages today. <laughs> uh. Oh, Darren, Walter and I are celebrating our 40th wedding anniversary, and Maggie and Alice are throwing us a party. And we'd love for you to be there. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, great. <laughs> I'll see you in there. Bye-bye. John, 
Hey, Terry. Ready for me? Always ready for you, Darren. Have a seat. Wait. When I heard you'd be back last week, I couldn't believe it. Last week? How'd you find out so fast? News travels fast in these chairs. Darren, have you met Trudy? So, what do you think about me coming back? No. Hi. Right. Nice to meet you. Trudy plays Lexi. Gerard's granddaughter? Uh-huh. We were like three years old when I left, a year ago. And you died in a drowning accident. <laughs> Fair point. You're all done. Thank you. <laughs> Grow up fast around here, don't they? <laughs> they sure do. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Ready to start going over some ideas? Yeah, sure. Come on in. <laughs> Been a while since I've been in here. <laughs> Looks the same. Yeah, maybe a little messier. So, what do you think about me coming back as Peter, Preston's long lost brother? It's a good idea, but we've already done it in season 14. 21, 34, and 39. What else do you have? <laughs> okay. I'm the new guy in town, and I look a lot like Preston. Sound like him. And... Okay, but what's his backstory? What's his character arc? And what's his goal for only being there for four weeks? Okay, I get it. This is not going to be easy. Sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to drop off your ticket for tonight. Darren. Hey. Hi. I'm opening a new play. It's not the lead or anything, and it's just a small theater. But uh, if you'd like to come, I should be able to get you a ticket. A producer? Yeah, yeah, well, uh, back to Preston's Resurrect. Yeah, man, that, that's great. I'm really happy for you. Okay. I hope that wasn't too awkward for you. Because well, he's asking me about theater? No, it's not awkward. Well, he didn't mean anything. No, no. I don't know, the last thing I want people to do is walk on eggshells around me, especially you. Hello. So, uh, how do you think we managed to mess it up? I think we started taking us for granted until there wasn't much of us left. Too busy focusing on our careers, I guess. At least you're making some progress towards your dream of becoming a producer. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, back to Preston's resurrection. Yes. Um, uh, what about a vampire? Except I could only take cases at night. You really want to wear a cape and fangs? Well, maybe I could be a cool modern vampire. Not sure Alice would go for it, but no. I'll write it down. Okay, what else? See you tomorrow, guys. Oh, Maggie, you got a minute? Sure, what's up? I am organizing a weekly hike on Saturday mornings. You interested? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been hiking in a while. Actually, I haven't done much of anything except for sitting and writing for a while. Then you should definitely do this. Yeah, I'm just going to run home and change, but I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> it's not even a real hike. We're just walking up to the Hollywood sign. John is coming, too. <sighs> My gym's air-conditioned, but nothing beats the great outdoors. Uh, huh? Sure. <laughs> what do I have to lose other than maybe some stress? <laughs> have a good night, you guys. See ya. Yes. <laughs> Have a good night. Maggie, how did it go with Darren today? Oh, he shot down most of my ideas. Listen, don't let him talk you into making Preston come back as a vampire. Has he tried that before? Yeah, he brought it up two years ago. And believe me, Preston was very much alive then. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not the direction we want to take the show. So, going to the play tonight? Yeah, I'm just going to run home and change, but I'll see you there. Yeah, I'll be there. So when can we get together? Yeah, yeah, that works. Just not at the studio, okay? I don't want anybody to know. I, I, I gotta go. Hey, hi, Maggie. Hi. I was just talking to my agent, Zach. Okay. I wasn't gonna ask, though. <laughs> just gonna go to my car.
intriguing title. <laughs> Fine place. You can have the party outside at sunset. You do have a beautiful but it's about electricity. <laughs> so I guess Stuart found you an extra ticket? Actually, Alice had one. Is she here yet? Uh, I haven't seen her. Huh. I offered to pick her up. She said she was in the middle of something. It sounded kind of frenzied. Told me she'd meet me here. It wasn't about the show. <laughs> Alice, hey, are you here? The Palm Court canceled us. Canceled? Are we canceled? Uh, no, the party venue. Hey, Alice, I'm going to put you on speakerphone with Darren. So what happened? Kitchen fire. Sounds like one of our storylines. Listen, I have been on the phone all day trying to find a new venue. Everything is booked. Okay, well, you know, maybe we could have it at the studio. I'm sure the set designers could put together something nice. What about my place? We could have the party outside at sunset. You do have a beautiful backyard. I love it. Thank you, Darren. It means that we're going to have to start all over again. Look, I'm going to leave now, and I'll see you guys soon, all right? That's really nice of you. you know, Walter and Lucinda really took me under their wing when I first came on the show, so it's the least I could do for them. Seems like we'll be spending more time together. You're both here. Listen, I've divided. I have been using the rubber band trick, and it's been working. I wear it on my wrist all the time now. <clears throat> hey. Hey, yeah. hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, sorry, I was just talking to my uh, dog walker, Wiley's dog walker. Since when does he need a dog walker? I thought you had three acres of fenced in property. <laughs> Likes the company, I guess. <laughs> so, what'd you think of the play? Oh, it was, uh, it was fine. Huh? <laughs> I liked it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, a lot, actually. It's okay to tell me if you didn't like the play. I won't tell Stuart. Okay, well, um, if I'm being honest, I... Maybe it wasn't for me. Now, hey, Stuart, guess what, Max? Stop, stop. <laughs> it's not so hard to say what you think. Oh, good. You're both here. Listen, I've divided up the party planning. I'm going to do all the decorations, the music, and the flowers. Now, if you kids could just do the food and the drinks, that would be great. That's all about me. Yeah, me too. Excellent. You, aren't you supposed to be in a promo shoot? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm on I'm my way. <laughs> I thought maybe I interrupted something when I walked in. No, we were just talking about last night's play. <laughs> What's to discuss? It was awful. Darren liked it. No, he did not. Yes. He fell asleep before I did. <laughs> <laughs> to check it out and um, quickly found myself hooked. The other reason. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <sighs> So, this is the Garden of Eden you've been working on, huh? I don't think for a second you came over here to look at the vegetables. I also wanted to come by, see how you're doing, see how things are going on the show. Good. I shoot my first scenes Monday. Nice. How are they bringing you back, by the way? Amnesia. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so you didn't really drown? No, no. I was found wandering on a beach by a lady named Scarlet, who nurses me back to health, and then uh, regained some of my memory, and now I'm torn between Scarlet and Nicole. But Nicole's with Chase. The that's going to complicate things. You actually watched the show. I have to admit, when you first landed the gig, I wanted to check it out and um, quickly found myself hooked. The other reason that I stopped by was to tell you that the network is pulling out all the stops to promote your return. I haven't even told you about the soap convention yet. Basically, you and the show are the star attractions this year. It's all time to coincide with the airing of the first episode. Well, I just... I hope I can live up to it all. I have no doubt. Hey, Bob. Hmm. You didn't say that it was uphill. I stood up to the Hollywood sign. It's not that bad. You can do this. Oh. <sighs> Hi, Wiley! Oh, I didn't know Darren 
Elizabeth's going to be here. I invited everyone from the show. It's not going to be a problem, is it? No, no, I just feel like I'm seeing him more now than when I was seeing him. Oh, I have a feeling we won't be seeing much of him. He's probably going to be way ahead of us on the trail. What makes you say that? Wow, it's kind of annoying how fit he is. Mm, I doubt his fans would agree. Oh, you know, I think that Darren has a girlfriend, but he's too afraid to tell me. Maybe he just doesn't want to throw it in your face. Maybe. I'm sure, he'll tell me eventually. Mm hmm. too fast? Crawling would be too fast. I'm more out of shape than I thought. I can slow down. No, no, you go ahead. I'm gonna just sit here and rest. It's great you gave it a try, though. Oh. Hey. Hey. What are you two doing here? Uh, we're on our way down already. Already? Yeah. Whew. Must be all that walking you did when you lived in New York. Uh, it's a great city for walking. Mm. So, how come you didn't stay after your play closed? It's not home. <laughs> you okay? You seem a little nervous. <laughs> well, I gotta, I gotta feed Wiley. You wanna walk down with us? Uh, I would love to, but I think I need some time to recover. My legs are officially turned to jelly. <laughs> See you Monday. Okay. Bye. Thanks for coming by, friend. It really helped. I'm always here for you. You're the best. Okay. Hey, they're ready for you on set. Sorry, I was talking to an old friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> you okay? You seem a little nervous. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been in front of a camera. But I'll be fine. finger with your eyes. Okay. What's the last thing you remember? Do you want to talk about it? Do you remember anything? Preston, can you speak? Lifting the little girl out of the water. What? Lifting the girl. Alice, uh, I'm sorry. I just, I, I can't seem to remember my lines. Darren, would you like us to make some cue cards for you? <laughs> Take five, everyone. That's clear, everybody. Five minutes. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it? I mean, what is there to talk about? I, I froze. It's first day jitters. It's more than that. I was afraid this was going to happen. What do you mean? Playing to a half-empty theater in New York just for the two weeks that the play ran, uh, to say nothing of all the people that walked out in the middle of the performance, did a number on me. Hey, no one is walking out on you here. Every single actor on that set has felt exactly the same way. No one's judging you. We're all rooting for you. Well, theoretically, I know that. Hey, look. I may have created Preston, but you're the one who brought him to life. It was six years ago. I mean, think about all the people's lives you've touched in the six years. I'm going to have to tell her. I've been living with the woman who found... Your fans are crazy about you. Darren, you're a really good actor. Okay? You're not just a pretty face. You have skills that other actors don't, so use them. You talked to me like this before. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. I like it. <laughs> I remember when you 
first came on the show. And you told me that your grandfather was a cop and that inspired you. Maybe think about him, you know? Use that. Come on. Ready, one. I believe Nicole waited for me. Take one. She's certainly a great woman. That's something I have to tell her. I've been living with the woman who found me when I washed ashore. Good work, really. It's a powerful scene. Oh, I think it's Darren who makes it so good. came to apologize again. <laughs> this morning, I didn't mean to miss my mark and step on Nicole's negligee and tear it. Oh, you know what? I think it added a little more drama, so we decided to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, good luck with that. Oh, uh... <laughs> hey, come sit down. Look, Darren, it's only your third day, okay? You're still getting used to it. It's fine. You're gonna make a really good producer, you know that? I mean, I mean it. You, you really care about everybody on the show. Yeah, well, it's easy to do when you love the people you work with. And you couldn't have a better mentor than Alice. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just wish I could be more like her. <laughs> to be like Alice, you just be yourself. These money pages? Uh, nope. No, these are uh, stuff the other staff writers are working on. I'm still writing yours now, actually. Good. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck with that. Oh, uh, I had an idea for Walter and the Simmons party. What do you think about having a signature cocktail? What do you have in mind? Well, a 40 year romance is something to be commemorated. Yeah, so we should probably go all out. Exactly. And I have the name of a guy who's supposedly one of the best mixologists in L.A. Well, I think that's a great idea. Well, since I'm done shooting for the day and they don't need me again for a bit, I was going to go check him out. Any chance you'd want to come with? Uh, <laughs> you know, I can. I still have to finish up these few scenes. Well, I have script approval. And I approve you taking a few hours off. Well, maybe just I met the right person. Well, maybe I'm just not as lucky as you two. Uh, <laughs> um, for Lucinda and Walter. The 40th anniversary is known as a ruby anniversary. Therefore, I made a ruby cocktail. And to top it off, rose petals. Wow. Thank you. Almost too pretty to drink. But very romantic. Well, 40 years of marriage is a milestone. I don't know how people do it. Oh, you don't believe in true love? You know, I used to, but after two divorces, well, maybe just I met the right person. Well, maybe I'm just not as lucky as you two. Enjoy. <laughs> well, we were a couple for a few years. Mmm. <laughs> wow, this is... Incredible, right? Yes. We should definitely serve this. You know, in rubies, after all, they do mean passion and devotion and romance. How do you know all this stuff? I wrote for soaps. One I'm trying to get you to stay on, by the way. <laughs> I said I'd do four weeks. Why only four weeks? I mean, come on, is there something else you want to do? Right now, I don't know what I want to do. Look, I get it. I... Well, <laughs> cheers to that. Cheers to that. <gasps> I know doing theater was your dream. Yeah, I, I, and I don't want that dream to be one play that flopped. It won't be. And Darren, you're a great actor. You just... Haven't found the right play. My girlfriend hasn't found the right girl. You seem to have that covered. And what do you think? Oh, we love it. Yeah, we're definitely going with the Ruby cocktail. Oh, we should come up with some sort of signature name for it in honor of Walter and Lucinda. Well, uh, how did they meet? Oh. <laughs> uh, on a soap opera. Yeah. Oh, we could call it the Forever Cocktail. I thought I recognized you. You were on that show, weren't you? <laughs> 
My ex-wife watched that show every day. She was nuts about it. Yep. And you. <laughs> I gotta go text her. <laughs> wow. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <gasps> I can't believe he didn't recognize you at first. I just hope he doesn't blame Preston for his divorce. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming with me. Yeah, yeah, I never get out of the office in the middle of the day. It was fun. Well, then I'm happy that I could help you play hooky. You're supposed to be at a fitting, aren't you? You were right. I will see you later, OK? OK. <laughs> That's how I got Gregory to sign off on that season's finale. <laughs> I can't believe that he yeah. bought that. It's sort of an industry secret. And I know you're going to have a wonderful time. Mm. Must be the fun part of producing. Yeah, and there. Oh, well, I guess I owe you another glass of wine for sharing it. Actually, I could use a little favor instead. Yeah, of course. What is it? Take my place at the soap opera convention this weekend. You're not going? My daughter needs me to watch the kids. I so know this is last minute. I'm just at my wit's end. Of course I'll do it. Oh, you are such a star. <laughs> Thank you. And you know what? This is going to be a breeze for you. You know as much about the show as I do, and you only have to attend one panel. Panel? Yeah. Like in front of people? It's a Q&A. I mean, the whole cast will be on stage with you. Well, but they're used to it. No, no, you have to get used to this. Okay. Besides, it's a beautiful resort. And I know you're going to have a wonderful time. Mm. Must be the fun part of producing. Yeah, and there are really so few of those. So <laughs> enjoy yourself. So, how are things going on the show? Better. Yeah, a couple of rough patches last week. Only dropped my lines once this week, so that's improvement. <laughs> But everybody's been really understanding, especially Maggie. Well, I wasn't going to bring her up, but since you did, how's it been working with her again? Just like old times. Not exactly over her, are you? Thought I was. What about Maggie? Spa treatment. Oh. And that sounds right up my alley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you need anything... I don't know. I can't tell what she's feeling. Well, here's some more unsolicited advice from your agent. Maybe for now, it's best to just focus on your career. Speaking of which, I don't know if it's still too soon, but I might have found a new play for you, if you're interested. everyone. I am Ken. I will be your coordinator for the weekend. You'll find everything you need in your packets, your schedule of events, your room assignments, and this year we have included a complimentary spa treatment. Oh. And that sounds right up my alley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you need anything else at all, my card is also in the packet. Thank you, Ken. It's lovely to be back. Oh, it's an honor to have you back. Your first panel is at 2 o'clock this afternoon, so I'll see you then. Okay. Oh, what? Anybody up for lunch in about an hour? Sure. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm just gonna head up to the hotel cafe and grab a bite because I gotta prep for the panel, but I'll see you all at two. Yeah, see okay. you at two. Okay. Well, um, how about sushi? Sounds good. Yeah, I'm in. I'll meet you in the lobby. Sure. Thanks. Oh, and if, uh, that doesn't work. Hey, Maggie. Hey, hi. hi. I, I didn't realize we were neighbors. Yeah. Well, Walter and Lucinda are just on the other side. <laughs> sure you don't want to join us for lunch? Yeah, I picked a something up already. I'm gonna go prep for the panel. I've never been on one before. Yeah, I know you're used to being behind the scenes, but panels are pretty simple. I'm just not comfortable in front of an audience. All right, you're fine. If you get a question that you're unsure of, you just take a breath and say something like, that's a really good question. I'll buy you a minute to think of what to say. Thanks. Oh, and if uh, that doesn't work, 
try one of these. An elastic band? Yeah. That's a trick for nerves. You just put it on and it'll remind you to be present. Thanks, Darren. For looking out for me. Yeah. So I gotta take this to Zach. Oh. Hey. Thanks for calling me back. I got your message. Can I, uh, can I see you when I get back in town? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> and of course, a huge thank you to CHB Network, the host of our favorite soap opera, for sponsoring today's panel. Maggie, now I know that this is your first time at Soap Opera Expo, and you have been with Forever for, well, a long, long time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you got started. Uh, well, that's a great question. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, like all of you, I am a huge fan of soap operas. When I was little, my grandmother lived with us, and she and my mother and I would watch soaps every day. And they were our salvation through a lot of rough patches. Yeah. And I always wanted to be a writer, so I thought, what better job than writing on a soap opera? And now you're the head writer. Yes. Which leads me to my next question. How are you writing Preston Stillwater back onto the show? <laughs> ah, sorry, but we're gonna have to keep that one a secret. But we've shot you're such a huge star on Forever before you left for Broadway, but then you're... A lot of scenes with Darren already, and you're just going to have to tune in when his first episode airs this Monday. Oh, we'll be tuning in, won't we? <laughs> okay, who wants to ask the first question? No, oh, I'm... Right there, yes. Hi, my question is for Darren. I love you so much as Preston. And for a cop, he's, he's such a romantic guy. But what is Darren's ideal first date? Well, that's easy. Uh, it would be a ride to the top of my favorite canyon in LA, a picnic dinner and a bottle of wine, and we'd watch the sunset. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, right here. Um, my question is also for Darren. You were such a huge star on Forever before you left for Broadway, but then your play bombed. Um, was it hard for you to come back to the show after that? That's, uh, that's a really good question. You know, it was actually hard for us because Darren had so many offers and everybody wanted him. And so we're just so lucky that we got him back on our show. <laughs> uh, Forever gave me my start. Um, and I, I really love the show, and I really love the people. Hey, who's that Darren's talking to over there? Thank you for the rubber band. It, it really helped. Yeah, well, you never know what kind of questions you're going to get. It's Joey Buchanan. He's the producer on Tomorrow Always Come. He's been trying to get us to jump ship for years, but... <laughs> <laughs> but we're very happy where we are. Besides, it meant driving an extra half hour just to get to work every morning. So. <laughs> yeah, we were... No way. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, it's LA traffic. At least we're out of it for the weekend, right? <laughs> Matt, can I uh, talk to you for a minute? Sure. Excuse us. Uh, okay. Thanks for letting me borrow the earring. Oh, you're welcome. Well, that's promising. Well, hello, you two. Okay. Oh, Ken. Did you get a chance to go to the spa? I did. It was great. I just wanted to thank you for that saver there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the rubber band. It, it really helped. Yeah, well, you never know what kind of questions you're going to get. Like, what's your ideal first date? Well, at least I knew the answer to that one. That was our first date. I, I know. Taking girls up to the top of the canyon for a sunset picnic is your thing now? I said it was my favorite thing. I never said I did it with anybody else. 
I will. It was a good first date, even though you forgot the blanket. I didn't think you noticed. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. And yet, you went out with me again anyway. Against my better judgment. I wasn't sure it was a good idea to date somebody that you worked with. Walter and Cinda made it work. Well, maybe they know something we don't. <laughs> Top of the Hollywood sign one of these days, and it's beautiful out here. There you are. Ken wants to see us for a group photo. Come. Uh, hi. Did you think you'd be out here? Yeah, well, I am determined to make it to the top of the Hollywood sign one of these days, and it's beautiful out here, so I figured what better place to practice. Well, I admire your determination. I'm not aiming for Mount Everest, just the Hollywood sign. Oh, you want some company? No, I. you should go ahead. I don't want to hold you back. I'm in a hurry. You take it slow. See where the path takes us? You know, don't you have someone you need to check in with or call or something? Oh, oh, there's not fairs on here, are there? Uh, probably. We're up in the mountains. You know what? Maybe some friendly company isn't such a bad idea. That's okay. Writing romance novels. But I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> you all right? Yes. So? So. What do you think of the convention so far? Oh, it's great. Yeah. Fans are wonderful. And, you know, to tell you the truth, this is probably my first weekend away in two years. I need to do this more often. So why don't you? I've just been so afraid of the show getting canceled that I've been working harder than usual. Right. And you've done a great job bringing Preston back, but... <laughs> You know, there's no guarantee that he'll save the show. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And I've played the what-ifs game. I suppose I could turn to writing romance novels. But I'm not going down without a fight. <laughs> and you could do another play, if that's what you want. I don't even know yet what I want. I love being on Forever. I like the fast pace. <laughs> Normally... I don't have a problem remembering my lines. But live theater, you just get that connection to the audience that I also love, you know? A lot of actors do both. Maggie. Hi. Oh, hi. Do you want to oh. add? Gwen just started dating Will Sullivan from oh. the road back, so okay. I told her to bring him. Joey Buchanan, producer on Tomorrow Always Comes. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> you know, I'm surprised Alice isn't here this weekend. But I guess she's about to retire, <laughs> along with your show. I don't know where you heard that. Oh, so there's no truth to the rumors that Forever is in trouble? Hmm. No truth to the rumors. You know, it's so funny, though. Uh, what was your name, Jeff? Joey. Joey. I heard the same rumors about your show. Tomorrow always comes. <laughs> or does it? Okay, the party count right is 52. <laughs> is there any anybody else you want to oh. add? Gwen just started dating Will Sullivan from oh. the road back, so okay. I told her to bring him. Didn't they just meet at Soap Opera Expo? Well, now, you didn't mention that. Boy, it must have been some weekend. Well, it's a better place to fall in love than a soap opera convention. Oh. <laughs> Not me. Uh-huh. You sure there wasn't a little rekindling between you and Darren? What? No. Oh, come on. I saw the way he was looking at you. <laughs> 
Boy, am I sorry I missed it. <laughs> okay, you know what? You two are ridiculous. I think he's seeing someone anyway. Sweetheart, I've been on soaps long enough to know a romantic look when I see one. Okay, well, no disrespect, but I think you're wrong about that. Speaking of Darren, where is he? Didn't he say he wanted to be here with all of us to see his first episode? Oh, he left right after we finished shooting this morning. He said he had an appointment, but he'd be back in time. Now is just a moment. Oh, here we go. Forever is a long, long time. I'm very excited, actually. <laughs> Preston. It feels like just yesterday you were here. Today's a new day. To an early start? Well, I was too nervous to sit at home and wait for the ratings from your first episode to come in, so I thought I'd walk off some of my nervous energy. I think we had the same idea. Hey, everyone thought that your scenes were terrific. Thanks. Yeah. Well, it felt good, but it helps when you have a good script. Well, beats what we used to do, sitting at home on pins and... Oh, it's Alice. She is ecstatic about the needles, waiting for the ratings to come in. You can order a pizza? Two, if we thought it was bad news. <laughs> ah, you're always convinced it wouldn't be. We rarely had to eat that second pizza. Wanna go get one now, just in case? <laughs> 7.30 in the morning. I'll go get coffee, if you want. What, and, and abandon your walk? I thought your goal was to make it to the top. Do you have to remember everything that I've said? Well, just to get mad at me if I didn't. Not mad mad, more like annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> the ratings are in. Yeah, and they're up. Way up! <laughs> um, sorry. I have to apologize. <laughs> oh, it's Alice. She is ecstatic about the numbers, so she's calling a production meeting, so I should go. But, um, brain check on that walk. Yeah, sure. that we were best friends, but now it seems as though my best friend's fallen in love with my wife. I'm not sure Preston's gonna be around that long. I don't deny it. I've always been in love with Nicole, but she never felt the same way about me. Not until you were dead. But I'm not dead anymore. Got some notes going again. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice work, everyone. Hey, Darren, you play a terrific amnesiac. It was an inspired way to bring Preston back. Yeah, it's all Maggie. Uh, how about you stay on the show and maybe we bump Preston up to police commissioner? I mean, once he's got his full memory back. Uh, uh, thank you for the promotion. I'm just not sure Preston's going to be around that long. Okay, put a flag there. Maggie? Can I uh, speak with you outside, please? Look, Darren only has one week left on his contract. You're supposed to take care of that. Sweeps Week is coming up soon. You know how important that is to our ratings. I know. And you know what? I think he's actually coming around. Doesn't sound like it to me. If our ratings are up, they need to stay up. Have a great day. Okay. It's just... 
See you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Zach, hey. Hey, what'd you think of that play I sent over? Pretty good, right? I haven't read it yet. What? Not this again. I thought things were going well and forever. They were. They, they are. Uh, no more blunders. I just am not quite sure I'm ready for live theater. Will you please do me a personal favor and read this play? I really think it'll change your mind. All right. All right, I left it in my dressing room, but I'm not far from there. I'll swing by and pick it up. Sounds good. Got to go. Zach here. <laughs> Hello? It's just... Whoa, hey, hi. Hi. Oh, uh, relax, it's just me. Okay. What are you doing here on a Saturday? Uh, working. Or at least I was attempting to. I thought you had everything under control. Yeah, I do, except I'm trying to come up with new ideas to convince the star of our show to stay. You know, love triangle or something, anything that would get him to change his mind. Well, maybe Preston should get back with Scarlett and let Chase and Nicole finally get together. Yeah, it's a good idea. I can start writing that storyline now. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. You know what? You could actually move next door to Chase and Nicole, and then you guys could wreak havoc on the town. Uh, I think that's a terrible idea. And that you need a break. What, now? Yep, right now. And you gave me an idea. Uh, not about the show, about the anniversary party. We still haven't narrowed down a caterer. And there is one more restaurant I think that we should go check out. That'd be perfect. Let me just go grab something from the printer. <laughs> script at the studio. Oh, I think you're really going to like this new one. There's a whole scene where Preston accepts this posthumous award for saving the children and... It's cool. Hmm. I always like putting on the whole dress uniform. Oh, you wear it well. Oh, yeah? I just... I just mean it's hard to resist a man in uniform, that's all. <laughs> well, I do get more tweets every time I put it on. Oh. <laughs> and that might be why Gregory's suggesting that Preston get promoted to police commissioner. That would be jumping a few ranks. I mean, I thought things were going well. They are. And I have enjoyed myself these past few weeks despite you. True. I kind of like the idea. Well, I'm sure I could come up with something, you know, to make it logical. <laughs> I'm sure you could. <laughs> you always find a way to make the impossible possible. Yeah, well, I wish I didn't have to. What do you mean? I just wish I could write stories that are more relatable. Well, not exactly Alice's style. I know, and it's still her show. Which she wants to give to you. So maybe you just have to show her how you do that. Well, I could start by making you police commissioner. Maybe I should finish my arc as detective first, don't you think? Would you really consider staying? Maybe. Yeah? Only for a couple of weeks. Oh, come on. Why a couple of weeks? I mean, I thought things were going well. They are. And I have enjoyed myself these past few weeks, despite your less than subtle attempts to get me to stay. <laughs> but something that you said about Alice and about owing the show something really stuck with me. So I thought maybe I'll stay. Help keep the ratings up till sweeps week. And here we are. What, you want them to cater the party? I thought you said you didn't like Cabaret Sur La Rue. Well, I was giving you a hard time. Hey. We actually have some good times here. please. Gregory is actually having a good time, even though he does moan a little about the show. Oh, no. I'm good, thank you. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Hey, great party. 
The three of you really pulled it off. Thanks, thanks. I'm just relieved that it all worked out. Has Darren mentioned his girlfriend yet? No, no, and I thought I was going to invite her here tonight, but I haven't seen him with anyone. Thank you, no. No, I'm sorry, thank you. Well, I guess he's not ready to tell me. Want to talk about it over some food? No, it's okay, really. I'd just like to thank you all for being here to share this very special evening. After being married at the end of the show's first season, Walter and Lucinda are celebrating 40 years together. Thank you, Alice. It was the best blind date I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> so what started out as colleagues working together? Did you help him write that? Oh, no, that's all his work. Together blossomed into one of the greatest romances ever. Oh. People say that it can be hard to work every day with someone you love. It can be easy to take each other for granted. And sometimes you just don't tell the other person how you feel until it's too late. But Walter and Lucinda seem to have found the secret to that, which, according to them, is to respect one another and always be honest. So to paraphrase one of the great romance movies of all time, I'll have what they're having. <laughs> <laughs> To Walter and Lucinda. To Walter and Lucinda. Thank you. <laughs> Did you help him write that? Oh, no, that's all his words. I'm making a run to meet to grab some lunch. You want something? Yeah, sure. Actually, you know what, can I pick it up? Because I have been sitting in my office all day and I could really use some fresh air. Great, grab me the usual. Okay, perfect. Oh, I already ordered. You can go ahead of me, sorry. Uh, I am so sorry for interrupting Maggie? I was grabbing lunch across the street and saw you come in here. Hi, I'm Maggie. Um, I work with Darren, and you must be Fran, his new girlfriend. It's, it's really nice to meet you, finally. Is this an improv scene I don't know about? <laughs> I am so sorry for interrupting whatever this is. Well, this is an acting class, and uh, we're in the middle of a scene, so... So... Oh. Pretend I was never here. <laughs> Love your hair. Maggie, hold on. Oh, that was by far the most embarrassing moment of my life. Why didn't you stop me? Stop you how? As a... Okay, so... Fran isn't your girlfriend. What? No. Then why the phony dog walker and all those strange phone calls saying it was Zach when it wasn't? Why all the mystery? Things worse. Can we just make a pact? I'm working with her. My friend's my acting coach. This is her workshop. She's the one that showed me the elastic band trick that I taught you. <laughs> but my confidence was pretty shot after New York. You know, coming back to forever, I know I couldn't do it without help, so I've been working with her privately. And as you saw today, it gets me back in front of a live audience. That's awesome. I'm sorry I didn't tell you what was going on. 
I had no idea it was so bad. So, there's no girlfriend? Only in your imagination, which is clearly running wild. Hey, you always said that made me a good writer. <laughs> oh, man, and then I came and I ruined your scene, and, you know, I'm just gonna go before I make things worse. Can we just make a pact? Uh, sure, what would you have in mind? All right, this whole thing started because we haven't been honest with each other, so from here on out, can we just not hide things like this, friend to friend? If it'll help us avoid something like that again, I'm in. Great. At this time, I really am leaving. <laughs> that was a lovely ceremony. It was nice to reconnect with some of the children that I rescued. They were sweet. Alice isn't going to be around when you take over. So she'll, she's... By the way, who was that woman I saw you talking to? You two seem to be having an intense conversation. That was Scarlett. I had no idea that she'd be there. That's great. Moving on. All right, moving on, second teaming. <laughs> Okay? Yeah, no, it's not that. I just saw the latest ratings. Did they dip? No, they're up a little, but probably not enough for Gregory. Well, maybe it's time to crack that book open and share your ideas with Alice. I don't think so. She has her own set vision for the show. It's the producer's job to look after the show. What do you mean? What? Alice isn't going to be around when you take over. So she's going to make you the producer of the show. She needs to understand that you have your own vision about how to make the show work. And look, I saw the ideas in your notebook and they're good. I don't want to undercut Alice. Maggie, it was your ideas for Preston that made me realize how much I miss this place. How much I miss you. Just look what you've accomplished in the last four weeks alone. <laughs> you can't do to Alice what you did to me. You know, saying nothing isn't gonna help her or, or the show. I'm so sorry. Sorry to Maggie? What's up? Uh, yeah, the future of the show. <laughs> well, I mean, it's certainly bad. Ah, uh, Gwen has a script question. Sure, yeah, I'll be there. One second. Okay. Listen, I was thinking... Sorry, Zach. <laughs> See, no more secrets. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So, what'd you think? Yeah. Yeah, I read the script. You're right. It is perfect for me. Excellent. Can I tell them you'll do it? Give me a few more days to decide. <sighs> hey, I hear you're looking for me. What's up? The future of the show. <laughs> well, I mean, it's certainly better. We got Darren back, and he's extended his run. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he actually stayed longer. Yeah, but he may not. And if he takes something else, then he has every right to do that. Yes, uh, of course. But if we really want to keep the show going another 40 years and preserve your legacy, then I think it's time to take the show in a new direction. Maggie. Uh... Alice. Let me say this. It's time for a change. I really think we need to appeal to a younger audience. Here, I have something to give you. <clears throat> Why is a good read? <laughs> Look through this and you'll see what I'm talking about. Oh, this is a lot. Yeah, but it's worth the read. And for the good of the show. <laughs> hey, got your text last night. When's the meeting with Gregory? In an hour. Oh, that doesn't sound good. It's a pitch meeting. We're pitching? No. You are. 
It was a good read. <laughs> Alice tells me that you have a new vision for the show that I have to hear. Well, I think we should take the show in a whole new direction and tell stories that are a little edgier and more modern. I know we've always resisted that in the past. <gasps> I'm not the only dinosaur in the room, am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, with all the new platforms, maybe it's time we shake things up a little bit. Yeah. Maybe it is time we change things up. And Maggie is the one person to do it. I like that little contemporary angle. Preston could become the CEO of a, a new company. He could bring medical technology overseas <laughs> to some doctors. Artist. Uh, you'll forget all about us once you get to the beach and feel that song. <laughs> Oh. A terrific idea. Mm -hmm. You know, getting Darren back, resurrecting Preston, that really got our numbers up and it helped the show, but Maggie, I think it's you and your ideas that are going to save it. Oh. Well, I have a lot of ideas. Um, how much time do you have? Sure you don't want to stick around, at least till the <laughs> new episodes air? You got this, Maggie. I'm really going to miss you. <laughs> well, that's the last of the boxes. How about the goodbyes? Fine. I know saying goodbye to the two of you would be the hardest. Ah, uh, you'll forget all about us once you get to the beach and feel that sun. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Do you guys mind if I give you a, a few words of wisdom? Please. Try not to focus on what's to come. You could forget to appreciate what's right in front of you. Fine. Okay. Okay, here I go. Did she just quote a line from the show? She wrote it 30 years ago. She's still using it. glad we're carrying on the tradition. So am I. And I want to say thank you. Five, four, three, two. So is it me or Chase? Neither. You're building a business to help doctors all over the world. Chase is a brilliant surgeon. But I have a law degree from Harvard. And now it's my turn to go into the world and realize my potential. All right. I've never been more proud of you, Nicole. <laughs> I gotta tell Maggie, I really like this new Nicole. She's got chutzpah. Alice and I have lunch together here every month. <sighs> I'm glad we're carrying on the tradition. So am I. And I want to say thank you for all your hard work. Forever's numbers have been going up every day, and people just seem to love this new direction you're taking with the show. Thanks. That really means a lot. <laughs> well, we have to keep these ratings up, Maggie. I mean, our advertisers are paying extra attention now that Darren's leaving the show to do a play again. We can't appear to be leveling out. He's doing a play? That's what I hear. That's not going to be a problem this time. Let him go to New York. Hmm. show can stand on its own with the new direction. I even have an idea how to write them off. <laughs> I have all sorts of ideas running through my head. As a tech CEO going international, he goes on a trip where he gets caught up in a civil war by a bus. That's right. You know, I thought about a car accident, but a bus to seem more dramatic. Gordon is taken. Oh, this bitch. Might be a little too easy for Preston. And Darren. <laughs> well, it's up to you. You're the producer. Maggie Coleman. <laughs> What if he got hit by a bus? <laughs> Zach, go. Hi, Zach. It's Maggie Coleman. Hey, Maggie. What's up? Darren's new play. Did he sign the contract for it yet? Yeah, he sent it to me this morning. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. <sighs> hey. So, I just got next week's pages. Uh huh? You have Preston getting hit by a bus? That's right. You know, I thought about a car accident, but a bus to seem more dramatic. So you're killing Preston off again? <laughs> Aren't you leaving? How did you even hear about that? Does it matter? 
What matters is you didn't tell me, even after we made a pact not to hide things from each other. Well, I was going to tell you tonight, over a bottle of wine and a picnic dinner at the top of our canyon. What, like a date? No, not like a date, a real date, like our first date. But you ruined it by jumping to conclusions like you always do. Oh, that's not fair. Isn't it? Oh, you wrote Preston off without discussing it with me. <laughs> You know, I never should have given you script approval. Yeah, well, I didn't approve these pages, so you know what? You feel free to get rid of Preston any way you want. Oh, Lexi's safe, but Preston isn't so lucky. He's getting hit with a double whammy, and it... That's great! Moving on! <laughs> Is there something going on with Maggie and Darren? They barely spoke to each other on set. Haven't you read next week's scripts? Well, don't tell me they're making you older again. No, Lexi's safe, but Preston isn't so lucky. He's getting hit with a double whammy, and it looks like they're writing him off for a while. I wonder why. Terry, did Maggie say anything to you about it? Maybe, maybe she'll tell me tomorrow? Hope you're all coming on the hike. It'll be interesting to see if Darren and Maggie both show up. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, Darren. Just fine. Everything's great. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, hey. Lucinda had a spa day, so I figured I'd join you kids. Oh, yeah. All right. It's good to see you here, too. Well, I didn't want to feel left out. And I got to get hey. Nice. Isn't Maggie supposed to be here? She texted me last night and said she was coming. Oh, I'm surprised Darren's not here. Anyone find out yet why they're not speaking to each other? Uh, I'll text Maggie and see if she's still coming. What did she say? She said she's here. Look up. <laughs> Congratulations on making it all the way to the top. Hey, thanks. Feels pretty great. It's good to see you here, too. Well, I didn't want to feel left out. And I got to get in shape if I want to be on stage three nights a week plus Sunday matinees. You're doing a play. Yeah. But Darren, I'm playing his father. It's an amazing script. <laughs> so, I... You're leaving the show, too. Well, why would I... Unless you know something I don't. No. It just... It plays in New York, though. No. No, no. We're doing it right here in L.A. Are you sure? Well, I'm old, but I'm not that old. Yeah. Like a scene out of a soap opera, I jumped to all the wrong conclusions. Is that why Darren's not here today? You know, I'd love to stay in chat, but I gotta go. Gotta go stop a bus act. Next week's episode. Preston manages to dodge the bus. <laughs> Incident. A lot of tomatoes, if that's why you're here. I'm not here to discuss fruit. At least you remember tomatoes are fruit, not a vegetable. Yeah, thinks I finally got something right. So I've gotten so many things wrong. Is that a written apology? This, uh, no, no, I, I rewrote next week's episode. Preston manages to dodge the bus. If you'd consider staying. I never wanted to leave. So you pushed Preston and me out. I know. I know, that's another thing I got wrong. Listen, I had lunch with Gregory, and he told me that your play was in New York, and I just assumed that he knew what he was talking about. And look, I'm really happy that you got a play. And I heard it's a really good one. It is. 
I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> While we're on the subject, you know it wasn't your fault for not saying anything to me about the play in New York. I, I just, I was so seduced by the idea of Broadway that I overlooked the fact that easily 16 other actors. It's foolish of me to think that I could live without you. There's no reason I can't be your wife and continue. Fast on it before it came to me. Really? Yeah. Well, I guess we're not hiding anything anymore then, huh? One other thing I don't want to hide anymore. Oh, I know you're not 6'2". <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I wanted to confess. No, I'm, I'm trying to tell you is I'm still in love with you. Well, then I have something to confess as well. I never stopped loving you. It was foolish of me to think that I could live without you. There's no reason I can't be your wife and continue my law practice. And even though my job as a CEO takes me around the world, I'll always come home to you. I know that now. And I'm so happy everything worked out. Scarlet and Chase will make a great couple. But will they ever be as happy as us? Glad these two finally got back together. Yeah, well, it's a soap, so who knows how long they'll last. But, you know, I think we'll last forever. And forever is a long, long, long time. time. <laughs> it's time to sell the farm. To the last harvest! To the last! He is a real estate broker, and we are selling the farm. He is my ex-boyfriend who broke my heart. Okay, well, there's that. I'm assuming that we can set aside our differences to get this deal done. We can't let the past keep us from being happy in the present. I get the feeling that everyone keeps trying to get us back together. Would it be such a bad idea to listen to? Sweet Pecan Summer premieres next Saturday at 9 on Hallmark.